The Central Intelligence Agency of the United States is one of the most secretive agencies in the world. Since its founding in 1947, various theories put forth by journalists, investigators, and alternative thinkers claiming the CIA has been involved in withholding valuable information on subjects such as our ancient past. While some of these accusations have been proven, such as their hand in bringing various Nazi scientists to the US after World War II. Others, which suggest they are involved in hiding an ancient civilization that once existed in Egypt, are yet to be proven. But is there really any evidence to suggest the CIA are withholding information that would prove an ancient civilization once existed in Egypt's Sahara Desert? Let's find out. For centuries, if not millennia, scholars and researchers from around the world have suggested there could have once been an advanced ancient civilization that existed on Earth. This said civilization was destroyed in a great cataclysm over 10,000 years ago. Yet the remains of their grandeur can still be found in places such as Egypt and Peru today. Plato, the famous Greek philosopher was one scholar to write about such a civilization. Plato was told about an ancient seafaring civilization that once existed before a major cataclysm sank many of their seaside cities, including their capital. The story was passed on to Plato by his grandfather, who in turn had heard it from the great Greek statesman Solon. Solon in turn heard the legend from a priest when he traveled to Egypt during his lifetime. Plato eventually wrote down the story in his work Timaeus, which he published in 360 BC and called this civilization, Atlantis. But is there a possibility that this once great capital existed? Well, Plato shares some fascinating information about the layout of the capital city of Atlantis. The story details how one of the major cities of this advanced Atlantean civilization was made up of large concentric circles yet was eventually sunk beneath the waters when a major cataclysm caused huge floods all around the world. Poseidon carved the mountain where his love dwelt into a palace and enclosed it with three circular moats of increasing width, varying from one to three stadia and separated by rings of land proportional in size. The Atlanteans then built bridges northward from the mountain, making a route to the rest of the island. They dug a great canal to the sea, and alongside, the bridges carved tunnels into the rocks so that ships could pass into the city and around the mountains. Yet, Plato goes on to state that their great civilization would be turned to dust following a great cataclysmic event. But what does all of this have to do with an American intelligence agency? Well, various researchers and independent journalists have claimed that for the last 50 years, the CIA has known about the existence of a once great civilization that existed in the Sahara Desert. But, in order to see the connection for ourselves, we'll have to go back to the late 60s during an era when the CIA were involved in a secret operation called Project Magnet. In this secretive project, the CIA attempted to map gravitational and magnetic anomalies all across the northern region of Africa. As part of the project, the CIA conducted various aerial reconnaissance missions in the Sahara Desert and became increasingly interested in an unusual geological formation called the Rechat structure. What's fascinating about this particular geological formation, also known as the Eye of Sahara, is its connection to the fabled ancient lost capital of the Atlantean civilization. Various geologists and researchers have studied the structure over the past few decades, yet none can explain how such an unusual formation could have formed naturally at the western edge of the Sahara Desert. However, to this day, the CIA claimed that no anomalies were found during the research they conducted at the site and that the structure was nothing more than a natural feat of nature. Despite these claims, the CIA is still withholding the results of their surveys from the public. 
This has led to backlash from various scholars and independent researchers who claim that the intelligence agency is hiding information that could change the way we look at the history in the region. While some theories suggest this was the capital of Atlantis, others have gone as far as to say that the Eye of the Sahara is evidence of an unknown advanced civilization, one that may be extraterrestrial in origin. Yet, more simplistic theories have been put forth that imply volcanic activity or a meteor were responsible for the formation of the Eye of the Sahara. But is there any concrete evidence to suggest it could be the home of an ancient civilization? Ancient evidence that suggests Atlantis was in Africa. The Eye of the Sahara has been hiding in plain sight on the borders of the desert town of Odense, Mauritania, for many millennia. It was first discovered in 1965 thanks to pictures taken from NASA's Gemini Force mission. Fast towards a few decades, and the site has become one of the most frequently visited sites in the region by researchers, looking to uncover the mystery of the site. The Eye of the Sahara has a diameter of approximately 50 kilometers and is clearly divided into numerous concentric circles, bearing a striking similarity to the major city described in Plato's work. These rings look to be perfectly shaped from above, made up of rocks such as sandstone. While other aspects of the site bear a great similarity to what Plato wrote about the Atlantean capital, it's difficult to say for sure whether or not this is the lost city. Yet, the striking coincidences may give us enough evidence to suggest this unusual structure in Western Sahara was, in fact, an ancient city of the Atlantean civilization. According to Plato, the island on which Atlantis was situated was enormous in size, similar to modern-day Iceland. The city itself was made up of concentric rings, with a major temple in the center dedicated to the city's founder, Poseidon and his wife, Plato. Plato also records that a vast array of mountains surrounded the Atlantean capital, and this is exactly what we find at the Eye of the Sahara. The Eye of the Sahara Details the oldest of the rings has been estimated at around 600 million years old, and the area's locals considered the structure a divine manifestation, calling it the Eye of God. While some believe that the Eye of the Sahara was the product of an ancient civilization, others believe the forces of nature made it. Among the scientific community, there are three major theories behind its construction. The first theory suggests that the Eye of the Sahara was formed when a meteorite smashed into the desert. However, this tends to be ruled out as the formation is almost completely flat, and generally, you would find some kind of deep crater at the site of a meteorite impact. On top of this, there are no signs of the minerals that are released in high-speed collisions. The second theory suggests that the Eye of the Sahara was formed over 100 million years ago when Pangaea, a supercontinent that connected much of Earth into one landmass, began to break apart. During this process, scientists have suggested that molten rock rose due to the shifting of tectonic plates, and this was responsible for the formation of the structure. Yet, this theory can also be refuted as no volcanic rocks can be found here. The third theory is the most outlandish, as it claims that the Eye of the Sahara was once the capital city of the Atlantean civilization, a culture known for their advancements in technology and seafaring. Fifty years after the initial CIA research was done on the site, a small amount of the classified information was released and made accessible to the public. Yet, only one page was released and it contained only a few sentences. This again makes us question why the CIA is going to such great lengths to hide their research on the Eye of the Sahara. On top of this, the CIA has classified a book written by a former employee, known as Chan Thomas. The book was titled The Adam and Eve Story and contained information on the history of cataclysms that have occurred in Earth's past. Thomas claims that he received much of the research for the book from his years working at the CIA and goes on to write about major floods that have occurred in Earth's past. 
He claims that one such flood destroyed a huge city that once existed in the western portion of the Sahara Desert. Could this cataclysm have brought on the Great Flood, which, according to Plato, sank the fabled city of Atlantis? Insider Information from the CIA If we compare the work of Chan Thomases, who speaks of a cataclysm that resulted in the destruction of a great civilization in the Sahara, we see clear parallels between this story and that of Plato's Atlantis story. Thomas claims that the major cataclysm that led to the flooding of the Sahara occurred over 11,000 years ago. This date precisely matches that given by Plato, who claims Solon was told by the Egyptian priest that Atlantis sank 9,000 years before him, which, including the 2,000 years since Plato's passing makes 11,000 years. On top of this, modern researchers such as Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson have used the works of various reputable scientists to suggest that during the earlier period, over 11,000 years ago, a major cataclysm did, in fact, cause major floods across the world, and this would have certainly put much of the Sahara Desert underwater. Is this what the CIA found during their initial investigations all those years ago? Were they aware of the major cataclysm that sunk the city of Atlantis and caused massive destruction around the world, ultimately ridding the world of evidence that various ancient civilizations once existed? And is the CIA withholding this information from humanity because if it was to be released, archaeologists and researchers would have to rewrite a vast portion of our ancient history? No longer would it seem that our evolution was a linear line of gradual increase. Instead, we would have to recognize that many of our ancient ancestors were incredibly advanced in their own ways. What do you think? Is the CIA really hiding information that could prove the city of Atlantis once existed in the western portion of the Sahara?